Today we're going to be playing nine holes with the out of production MVP axis. Now if you saw my last video, you know I was gifted this axis by a veteran MVP pro, Tyler Shock. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. This is the rim of the axis. Very traditional mid-range look. Slight bead. And this is a hex, which I think all you guys are pretty familiar with. The hex was PDJ approved in 2021, and now it's probably one of MVP's most popular molds. And if we take things back to 2011, well, that's when the Axis was born. The Axis was kind of MVP's first go at the super straight mid-range. And if you know me, you know the super straight mid-range is pretty much my favorite category of all time. So when Tyler gifted me this Axis, I just knew I had to do a video on it. 340 feet dead straight. Let's see what we can do. Really straight. There's three keys to disc golf. Driving, approaching, and putting. You need all three to do this disc sport. What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of building the MVP bag, the Axis. You know, I'm excited for this one. I'll be honest, I threw it a couple times on uh, you know, the last video and it's a disc I really wanna like, but I haven't quite got a clean release with it yet. So as we go today, we'll see, you know, that, that first flight, very promising, probably 300 feet, laser beam. Never faded, never turned. So I've heard of the Axis before. I've seen them in used racks. I've never bought one, never thrown one until now. It looks really cool. This old glow proton plastic, I think it looks much better than, you know, the today's Eclipse plastic. But I don't know, it's weird because I said it in yesterday's video, but this is one of MVP's mids, and this goes for kind of like the Vector, and then I think there was a couple more that were all made around the same time, and they, I think, are maybe on the same core. They have this slight bead, which is interesting because now the MVP modern lineup of mids pretty much don't have beads at all, but the old ones did, so it's kind of like a night and day difference between their old lineup and their new one. Maybe there's a reason why these are out of production. So Mossy Rock has been put into the short layout for the winter since last time I was out here. So we're gonna see some new pin placements today. Dead straight, 315. Not the best shot, but it definitely like held dead straight. Real quick hex shot. So I wanted to get a hex shot in because right away, I feel like the Axis lacks glide and lacks speed. It feels very similar to a rock, which, you know, you'd probably, that comparison would usually never come to be in terms of MVP mid ranges. So it's definitely an interesting feeling mid from MVP. Traditional mid range, that's exactly what it feels like. I definitely see a lack of glide and speed, which isn't a bad thing, but I think with so many of today's modern MVP mids, they're so fast. Yeah, a little short, the hex got probably 20 feet longer. <laughs> Next hole, 239, this is an absolute beauty. First shot here where I'm gonna, you know, really try and see if it actually gets a little bit of turn. Oh, I love it. Get over the hill. Oh, I hit something up on the top. Dang it. I usually would like a slightly deeper mid-range, especially when I'm throwing fan grip. Uh, I feel like my fingers wrap around the, the rim a little bit better. But this is definitely, I think, deeper than the hex. At least with the bead, it feels deeper. But I'm really f having to focus on the grip, I feel like. I'm like feeling like I'm having to try and think about the grip, which is not something you should have to do because it just doesn't quite feel like it has like a sturdy hand feel for me personally, which is odd. I don't know, trickled down the hillside a little bit over here. Got a little putt. Little safari action here, probably like mid, mid 200s, dead straight. Not enough height at all. Not the best throw, but even at a low speed, this disc just seems so straight. 
it's not fast. It's it's not really glidey. It doesn't seem like, but I almost feel like it's one of the like it seems like a pretty forgiving disc. Like you can kind of just throw it, and as long as you kind of push it forward, you're not really gonna get any turn. You're not really gonna get any fade. It's just kind of gonna go straight, which is great. I personally think one of the biggest misconceptions in disc golf is that you want the highest glide possible. You want glide for distance, but a lot of times more glide means less accuracy, less control because it's more likely to you know sway either way or go further. Whereas a low glide disc might actually be much more accurate because it's kind of just point and shoot. And I feel like that's kind of what the axis is maybe to the hex, not that the hex isn't super accurate, but you could kind of complement them back and forth as the hex being like more of a distance mid-range and the, the axis being a little bit more of like a control mid-range. Three hundred feet, dead straight, decent little ceiling here. This should be a good shot to really smack one on if it gets there. I'd be surprised to be honest. Yeah, that's probably circle one. So this is all speculation. Not even maybe speculation, it's just my thoughts. But I kind of understand maybe why this disc is out of production and they don't make it anymore. That shot was great. About as good as I could throw it. That being said, I think if I threw that same shot with like a buzz, I'd be 50 feet deep in the basket. Or at least 50 feet further than that just got. Uh, I think if I threw that with a stable hex, same thing. And I can see how maybe, this is, like I said, could be completely wrong. MVP designed this first batch of mid-range. It's the axis, the vector. I don't know any of the other ones. I think the vector is a little more overstable version of this. And although they're fine, there's nothing wrong with them. I don't know if this mid would be the mid that I would want to be like your, your kind of like staple straight to stable mid, you know, like your, your company's buzz, we'll say, or your company's rock, we'll say. <laughs> Dead straight down there, little tucked off to the left. Honestly, a pretty good little shot for this Frisbee. Beautiful little gap in the trees. Come on, push. Oh, touch short. Do a little trek through the woods, but hole 15, we had to play it. It's the best super straight mid-range hole on this course, I think. Dead straight right through that gap up there, kind of over the logs. Turn, no! All this for that. We're gonna throw the hex because I need to peer this gap again. That's so good. Maybe a little deep if it doesn't hit a tree. <laughs> the hex is so much better than the axis. And the axis, I wanted to love it, honestly. I'm 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 a big nostalgia guy and you know I don't I don't feel like MVP has a ton of that you know, in their brand itself, just because a lot of their old stuff is kind of forgotten about. I don't think, they're, they're, they're not really like an Innova where people are like, oh, I'm trying to get like the old stuff, other than, you know, maybe now like the patent pending dimensions and, and discs like that. But overall, I feel like people just, with MVP, they just want the, the hot new disc, which is fine for most people. But, you know, coming from like an Innova guy who likes the old stuff, it's, I wanted to like this old disc, you know, it's got that nostalgic feeling to it. I kind of see why it's out of production. There's nothing wrong with it, but there's nothing that's like, oh, I, I love this. You know, there's nothing dragging me to it. This is still one of my favorite holes. It's called Mosquito Alley. There's a sign up there, which makes me very sad because I assume that means in the summer and like spring and stuff that the mosquitoes are horrible, which is, you know, not fun. Hmm. I ain't got much. You know, that's an honest bid. 150 footer, little hyzer. Gonna try and ace it. 
Oh, a couple good tree kicks kept me relatively close. <laughs> oh. Three hundred eleven feet uphill, dead straight tunnel. Little drift to the right. See what we can do. The Axis might be one of the most stable mid ranges I've ever thrown. I feel like every single throw I had today, no matter the speed, no matter the spin, whatever, it went dead straight. And then it's also funny because last time I played out here. On the same hole, I threw the trail and I felt like it was an absolute smack and I probably landed like right here. So it's like so weird how, I don't know, distance. It's, it's, it's very interesting. What? Well guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for this one. The Axis. Solid Frisbee. I don't know, let me know down below. Did you throw the Axis when it first came out? Have you thrown the Axis since? Have you thrown one recently? Let me know what you think. Very stable in terms of the actual term of stable being dead straight, not overstable. But uh, interesting. I don't know. Definitely not making my bag, I don't think, for the rest of the week here. I thought it was gonna, which is surprising to me because it feels very traditional. You know, like I said, it feels kind of like a rock, kind of like a buzz, but... Overall, you can't, I can't complain about it, but I can see why maybe MVP moved on from it after, you know, well, well actually, I, I'd be interested. I don't know the full history of MVP, obviously, but there was 10 years between this mold being made and the hex being made. Was there other, you know, attempts at that, that go-to straight mid-range from MVP? I'm not totally sure. I don't know when this went out of production, uh, but <laughs> I think the hex, is a, is a good step up from this disc, but if you're a person who likes old MVP and old Frisbees and you wanted maybe the truest flying mid that I've ever thrown from MVP, get your hands on an Axis. I don't know where you're gonna get one, but thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Creator of Frisbee Club, the man, motherfuckers. The, the man, the myth. You're right here. I have a frisbee bag. It holds all my frisbees, the ones I like.